What's up, my boys? Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all going after your dreams. Hope y'all out here trying to manifest a new reality and you're you're aligning yourself to whatever it is that you want to do. I hope you're not staying stagnant and being stuck in the same position. I hope you're taking the initiative to that to that goal, to that step that you want to take and not just talking about it every single day and not doing shit about it and complaining. I hope that's not you. And I hope if it is you, you take this as a message and you decide to turn your life around because you're the only one that has the power to do it. And if you really do decide to take initiative, you will realize how easy it is. And like I always say, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing. But but yeah, um, I'm about to go to the gym, like always. Fuck, finna hit some. I don't know what I'm gonna hit. I'm probably just gonna, no, definitely gonna hit back because my back lacking like a motherfucker. My back not, not there. And um, gonna do a squat and bench, but I'm probably only gonna squat and bench like twice a week the most. I'm not really gonna do powerlifting no more. I just wanna kind of switch it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna squat and um, bench twice a week, but they're gonna be very high, high, low volume, um, heavy, 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 heavy weights. You know what I mean? I feel like I kind of, I kind of gotta switch it up. You never know; it might even be better than doing it three times a week with different variations and if it adds strength it adds strength either way i just uh i don't feel like i, I don't feel like i feel very passionate about it i just kind of go in and i kind of self-discipline myself but at the end of the day once i'm done with my powerlifting movements i'm looking more forward to the bodybuilding or accessory side of the the workout you know so and then recently i found myself you know wanting not to to do my compounds and i don't feel bad about it but at the same time i still do it you know just because i'm so disciplined to do it and i'm so used to it but i'm gonna probably switch it around uh yeah uh i've been reading this new book called abundance the inner path to wealth uh i really have a problem with you know being consistent i found myself reading like three pages four pages a day and then i'm always getting distracted but today i'm about to read 100 i already read like 40 pages i'm going home read another 40 because i know that book gonna be due um sometime this week so i'm gonna have to go return it so i gotta i gotta finish it but pretty much like what it talks about i'm not gonna try and drag this on too long but it talks about how um yoga is very important in life yoga is the pretty much the distinguishment or it pretty much defines the correlation of um yin and yang of having balance throughout the world um and being in dharma and what being in dharma be means is living your life in your life path living your life with a soul purpose so everything you do you're doing it that brings fulfillment and it it is what is supposed to be your purpose in life so if you're like if you're working a job that you don't like and you don't find fulfillment and you're just doing it for the money and for what it brings financially then you're not living in dharma and when you don't live in dharma you will never be genuinely happy and you will never be in peace until you start looking for what it is that you are meant to do so like for me example i work a nine to five or whatever not even a nine to five i work i, I work at three in the morning and i get out sometimes nine Nine, nine and a half up to ten hours right a day and that is not something that i want to be doing that is something i am doing because i have fallen into the system of having to work in order to provide and that is the system that we are all unfortunately stuck in and in order for you to escape the system one you have to work enough work enough have enough extra financial income from a different source or either save more money and put it to the side and be patient enough find something else that you can do so you can break away from the system and eventually quit your nine to five or two if you're in the position and i'm this for all my boys if you're listening especially if you're young and you know i don't have a lot of followers but if you are listening to this if you are young if you are still living with your mom and you can get a job or if you're getting an allowance do not spend that shit on pointless materialistic stuff 
what you need to be doing is you need to be you need to be saving that money and you need to invest the money into something that's going to bring you more income you know what i mean whether it is crypto trading whether it is forex trading whether it is drop shipping whether whether it's something that something that you are your own boss right because you don't because you when you are your own boss you have the ability to, to make way more money than be working for a company you could work for a company for for you could work for a company and make 100k a year right or you can decide to work for yourself and get to a point where you're making 100k a month which one would you rather do would you rather it take 20 years would you rather it take 10 years, 15 years making 100K to make a million? Or would you rather make a million in a year? You feel me? Like, you don't understand how easy it is to make money. And even though I'm not in the position of making the money that I see myself making it, my mindset has shifted. My belief systems in money has shifted. And that's what you need to do as well. You need to reprogram your mind to understand that making money is easy. All you have to do is, is know that if you connect your mind shift, if you connect your consciousness towards money is going to come your way and it's going to work for you and it's going to be so easily obtainable, then it will be because that is how the law of attraction works, right? But first you have to ingrain it in your subconscious mind and you have to reprogram yourself how money works. And this is a thought that I have been discovering over time from watching videos, but it's also a new uh, light that the book has shown me. But I'm really trying to put you on. And I really want everyone to get out of the system. And if you end up following me on my journey, it's not going to be just a lifting journey. This is this is just something I do every single day, and I'm going to record. Um, it's going to be more of a because I'm because I'm getting into forex trading too, right? I'm getting into forex trading. You're going to see me progress. You're going to see me elevate. You're going to ex- you're going to see me go from because mentally I am a, I feel like I am evolved, right? Mentally, I am wealthy. I am wealthy mentally. Mentally, I have the, the, the mindset of a wealthy person. And I want everyone to implement that in and become mentally wealthy and abundant. And the only thing that's happening right now is that I'm in the stage of... What is that stage? Where the caterpillar turns into the cocoon. And I'm in... I'm in that, I forgot what that stage is called. But that's, that's where I'm at. I'm like this close. Like Mentally, I'm there. Now all I'm doing is I'm taking initiative. I'm taking the initiative to create the reality I want to create. Like I'm, I feel like I'm at the point where I don't have to progress mentally anymore because I'm already there. Now what's happening is the universe is, is working for my favor and everything is being aligned. And um, I, I want y'all to see it. I want it to be a motivation. I want I want it to inspire people. I am very humble. I am not here to be cocky. I am not here to prove myself to be better than no one because at the end of the day, we are all connected, right? Um, I have very, very much control of my ego. I know that I am not an ego and I want everyone to understand that you are not your ego. This character that you think you are, this person that you have convinced you are, is not you. But at the same time, while we are here, it is us. But you gotta understand that every single day, with every situation, with every second, with every decision you make, you are reprogramming who you think you are, right? So we are all consciously creating new multiverses. Every decision you make, you're shifting your reality, right? So, yeah, but let me not get too much into that. Um, but I'm gonna just get this workout in. I'm gonna record a little bit, but I hope y'all, y'all, y'all perceive my message and you take it. And I hope it kind of brings you a new form of clarity and a new different perspective and boys stay focused on yourselves and you know create as men we are meant to create we are meant to create our reality we we are we are meant to create the world we perceive the world we want as men we are creators right so don't settle wake up to the truth wake up to the system and break out of it we have to break out of it but yeah y'all have a good day boys and stop jerking off shit stop jerking off bro i know no, stop put put the put the put close the close the website bro don't do it y'all be easy
fucking moon. Let's go, guys. Let it move for Cause like I used to rep this shit out for like nine back when I was consistent, but you know, I don't really care. I mean, I care, but I don't. I'm just trying to, just like I said, just do high, more weight, less low volume, work my way up.